Alright guys, so we're back on a slightly windy day to uh, hopefully test fly this uh, Phantom build that I've got here. Um, so the motor issues that I was having in the previous part, the only reason that I could find that they were messing up was because of these two uh, bolts in the motors. All of the bolts are the same length, so I can't uh, figure out why these two in each of the motors would be causing the issue, but when I take those two motor, uh, bolts out, the motors spin up just fine. So, really weird issue. I hope that it'll be stable enough. I'm definitely having my doubts, which is why I'm, uh, which is why I'm gonna test this setup on three cell for now, um, with eight inch props. I can go up to four cell with six inch props if this test goes well. So I'll set things up and let's see how it goes. So, let's see how this goes. I will be doing a quick handheld test of this. So, this little prop there is here, but with this setup, the main issue I'm experiencing right now is that uh, there isn't enough yaw control per uh, thrust that it has. Um, just there in this last test, in this last test, I was trying to uh, give it full yaw left and right to see how much control I had, and for some reason I could not yaw left. I could yaw right, okay. But I was unable to yaw to the left, um, which is a kind of weird issue. I haven't had that before. I also have a lot of issues still with uh, with basically just the frame structure itself. There's too much play in these arms. If you can see the amount of movement that I have here, um, I can twist the arm back and forth about 10 degrees, which is 
uh, okay on a small quad maybe, but on a quad that's going to be hitting upwards of 35,000 RPM propeller speeds, um, that will just cause completely uncontrollable vibration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a piece of carbon fiber cut, which I would inlay along the motors, so it would be a circular strip, um, probably three or four millimeters thick, that would go underneath all of the motor mounts, and I would actually put it in between the two pieces of the frame. And that would basically give the motors uh, stiffness so that they wouldn't want to tilt side to side. Um, I could paint it white maybe to try to make it blend in, but that's the next step for strengthening this build if I continue with it.